Okay, so in this lecture, we're going to take a quick second and we are going to install the new and the latest version of the Unity Terrain Tools. Okay, so let's jump into Unity and get started. All right, so let's go and um, open up the package manager. So what I have here is an empty Unity project and it's well slightly empty. I've imported the IndiePixel framework and just created a folder structure so I can export all this stuff out for you guys as a Unity package. Okay. So let's go and open up that package manager. So we're going to go to window package manager. And what I want to do is I want to see all packages and I also want to see all the preview packages. So we want to say, so we're going to come up here to this little drop down and show preview packages. And now there's tons of packages these days. It's so crazy um, how much comes with unity nowadays and for free too. It's insane. Um, so it's kind of hard to find sometimes. Uh, you can always come in here and just type out terrain tools like so um, or just go and find it down at the bottom here it's all alphabetically ordered and stuff like that so not too difficult all right so what we want to do is go and uh, select it and then hit install and after a little bit we get the entire terrain tools installed so you know that by these two buttons down here so one says up to date and the other says remove this allows us to remove it from our unity project Okay, uh, you can also go and download some asset samples from the asset store, just to give you a little head start. Uh, but I'm not going to do that for this particular mini course. All right, so now we have the terrain tools installed. So where is it? So if we come up here to the window, you can see this new terrain option. And we have the terrain toolbox and edit noise panels. All right, so the terrain toolbox is where we go and create new trains, manage trains, add our splat maps. Uh, manage layers, all that cool stuff. And then we have our edit noise, which allows us to create noises, which is really cool too, right? Definitely a cool new feature. So you can come in here and create new brushes that have different types of noises and stuff like that. So really cool stuff. All right. So what I'm going to do is just dock this next to my inspector there, because we're going to be using this quite a bit. And I'm going to close out the lecture there. And in the next lecture, we are going to take a look at exporting out our height field from Houdini. Thanks so much.